Hi, all my Cancerians. I hope that you guys are having a really great month so far. We just started 2020 and I'm super excited to do these readings for the new year. So the first reading I'm going to do is it's going to be a weekly reading for you guys. It's going to be for the first week of January. And Cancers, a lot of you guys have could have been going through struggles um, through 2019. But going to 2020, is going to be a more optimistic and positive month. I'm really feeling, or not month, a year. It's going to be a positive year from what I'm sensing and feeling. And I feel like January um, is just the beginning for that. So... I think things are only going to be looking up from here on. But yeah, so let's get into the reading. And also, guys, if this resonates, that's awesome. Um, if you like this resonates, you can feel free to click the link below to Vimeo for the extended version of this reading for the week. Um, also, if it doesn't resonate, it just means it wasn't the reading for you. And you can feel free to check out your moon, rising, or Venus signs alongside with my past or future videos. Also, Cross Watchers is a safe place for you, and if you guys feel like the roles are vice versa, vice versa, then feel free to take whichever role works with you. And just take whatever resonates and leave behind what doesn't. So this is a general reading, so not everything is going to resonate with every single person out there. So let's begin. So for the general energy at the bottom of the deck, I got the Three of Swords. Recent heartbreak. I think some of you guys could have been dealing with a heartbreak. You left somebody feeling heartbroken or you feel a bit heartbroken, Cancer. You could have found out some news. It doesn't necessarily have to be love. It could have been news. Um, I heard class. Maybe you found out you didn't, you failed a class or that you're going to have to retake a class again. Or you found out, you found out some news that left you feeling a little bit broken. Maybe in work news, some of you guys could have found out you didn't get the promotion or the raise that you were wanting and you're feeling a bit disappointed, but this could be in the regards to love as well. You could have been dealing with someone that left you feeling hurt. Hmm. It's kind of a bit sad. It's the general start to this week, the start of the year. Hopefully that's just past energy. Hopefully that was the past and you're going to get to a better place cancer, but let's see. Can I have past energy for cancer and the person they're currently dealing with? Past energy for cancer and the person that they are currently dealing with? We're going to fix that broken heart, though. If you guys are having a broken heart, we're going to fix that. Eight of Swords. Yeah. You feel like you're a bit trapped in your head. You were feeling a bit stuck with what you didn't know which direction to go. You didn't know if you could get out of the situation. Maybe you got yourself into a situation you felt like you couldn't get out of. You feel like you just don't know which direction to go, and you feel like you're blinded to the dis to the right decision. You blinded and you feel stuck. You're feeling a bit stuck, like you can't move forward. Maybe you're dealing with someone that's a bit controlling or somebody that um, has a, has, you feel like they have control over your heart maybe, or they have control over you in some way. And it's just, it's becoming a bit tiring and a bit frustrating because you just don't know where to go. You feel like you can't talk about it. As you can see, like, there's like a sword in her mouth. Like she can't speak with the sword in her mouth. Like she's like, she's all tongue tied or tied up, you know, like she's, she doesn't, she can't, she feels she can't speak her mind. She feels like she, this person, like this, you know, swords, they feel like they can't speak their mind. And that's how I feel like you're feeling right now. You feel like you can't really speak your mind in a situation. You feel like you have to hold everything in. Um, this was the recent past. Can I have clarity on the Eight of Swords here? Can I have clarity on the Eight of Swords? Why is the Eight of Swords here for Cancer? Can I have clarity on the Eight of Swords? on the eight of swords the star feel like you're so close to your dreams or feel like you're so you could be dealing with an aquarius as well but you feel like you're really close to meeting your goals so close to your dreams and there's like it's almost like you're asking for you're asking for something to come true you're asking for something you're it's like you're praying to your angels you're praying to god you're praying to the universe whatever you believe in you're praying you're hoping that you'll get out of this situation. But it's like also maybe there's an opportunity that came your way and 
there may be an opportunity for you that you maybe like you weren't expecting to come in and it just came out of nowhere. And now you want to take this opportunity, but maybe it requires leaving somebody behind. Maybe it requires you taking a leap of faith and leaving everything you know behind to fulfill this opportunity. It could be a singer. For some, um, you could be a singer. Um, you could play a musical instrument. You love music. Music is very important to you. But I do see here that you do have this wish that's waiting for you at your door. But it's like you almost like feel stuck with which way to go because it requires you. Maybe, it, unfortunately, you have to leave things behind in order to reach this goal. And you don't want to leave everything behind. But like the other part of you, like there's something out there that's so like such a great opportunity that unfortunately it requires leaving behind something. And that could leave you feeling a bit hurt and broken maybe inside. Or you left this person feeling broke or hurting. Can I have present energy for cancer for the first week of January? Page of Wands. Fire energy, Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. You're gonna, you might have some communication coming in. This could be somebody new, could be a friend that's a fire sign. But I feel like there's this um, new passion brewing from within you. There's a passion that comes from this person. Like, I also feel like very creative energy here. Like, you could be doing something very creative um, this first week of January. And also, I hear I, I heard that it catches everyone off guard. Like you, it's like you almost started a new hobby, and everyone's like, "You're doing that? Like I never seen you do that before. That's different." Um, but I I heard someone could be getting a piercing. Um, someone might be getting a, a piercing this week, or you have a lot of piercings. This person has a lot of piercings, or somebody wants to get a piercing. Three of Pentacles. You could be in partnership with this person already. Or this is somebody that you see partnership with. This is somebody that you see a future with. But you also, um, it's student, it's almost like a, I get student teacher vibes. Maybe you have a teacher, a professor, or somebody that you look up to, maybe even your boss. Somebody, you look up to this person and you feel like in order, in order to get to where you want to go, you're trying to follow this person's advice or there's somebody you look up to. I really feel like it's a someone that's guiding you, someone that it could be a counselor, even somebody that's helping you get through this tough situation. And you're really trying to find. I also heard institution. You could be in school, you could be in college or it doesn't necessarily have to be that. You could work in an institution of some sort, a school or a, even like a counselor. You could be a counselor or in the medical field. Even I heard medical could be in the medical field but there's like I feel like you're trying to you're testing out your you're testing out different things like you're testing out your limits and your boundaries and seeing like what like what is your interest because I feel like you're finding a lot more about yourself you're learning more about yourself that you didn't know before it's like in 2019 you didn't maybe you just started to learn more about yourself you started to learn what you really like in somebody or what attracts you to somebody and it's like you're starting to learn what really attracts you and like what's catching your attention but I do see here that this could be someone you're in a relationship with but there's like this new passion between you two if it's not a relationship it could be someone you've been connecting with can I have future energy for cancers all the cancers out there future energy could be a um, Capricorn Taurus or Virgo though Two. Can I have future energy for cancers? Oh my cancers. The fool. Yeah, taking a chance. You're wanting to take a chance with this connection. You're wanting to take a leap of faith. And this if this is not a connection, this is you wanting just to take a leap of faith in your career, in what makes you feel happy, leaving everything behind. It's almost like I feel the energy of you're leaving everything behind to take on a new opportunity, whether it is a new opportunity in love or a new opportunity within your your personal life or something that's a wish coming true. 
you did feel confused in the past. You did feel a bit lost, but I think you're finding your true desires. You're finding your true self throughout this um, 2019. I really feel like you could have been feeling stuck, but going to 2020 for the first week, you're feeling like your mind is being open. Like you're starting to discover your independence. You're starting to become independent and you're thriving from it. It's like you're finding yourself again. It's almost like you feel like you lost yourself at one point, but you're finding yourself again. You're finding what really makes you happy. I feel like this is whoever you're dealing with is like, is this a connection that, oh, well, this is a connection that was faded. Wheel of Fortune. But this is a connection that has, has passion there. But it is like, I think it is a new kind of passion. It's a new, I think it's something, it's somewhat, somewhat new of a passion that's building in, building between you two. If this is not a new person, it could be somebody you've had a relationship with and you're starting to feel like, the passion's coming back. But overall, I do see that there's an optimistic um, point of view here. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, you feel like it, it was fated to meet this person. You feel very lucky and fortunate that you met this person. Or whatever happened in your past to leave you feeling confused, you're kind of it's starting to make a lot more sense now. You're starting to understand why everything happened the way it did. Like before it didn't make sense. But you're coming to the realization that things are starting to make more sense. It's starting to become more clear with why this happened. As confused as you were before, it's starting to make sense. And whoever you you want to take a chance with this person, you want to see where it can go, you want to grow. The world is at your hands. We got the world card here. You could be dealing with the um, for some of you guys could be dealing with a fixed sign. Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, and what was the last sign? Scorpio, yeah. You could be dealing with a fixed sign, though. This person, um, they could be a bit stubborn, since fixed energy is a bit stubborn energy. This person, but this person sees you as their world. You do see this person as the world, but you also, you can do anything in this world. You have the world within your fingertips. You have the world... And I feel like there's so much out there that there's, you could be traveling. Maybe you're moving to a foreign country. Maybe you're moving, you have an opportunity to be a foreign exchange student, or you have an opportunity to be, um, to move to another country, another, another state or another city, even that, you know, maybe you're moving out and it's just so new and you just, you just don't know what to do. Like part of you is like, I have to leave all this behind. But the other part of you is like, I'm going to do it though. I'm going to just do it. I'm going to just wing it and do it. Maybe you want to move to this person. Maybe this person you fell in love and you want to move to them. The world is at your hand. You, it's like you're coming into a completion. There's like a completion taking place and a restart, a rebirth here. Like there's a big, there's a rebirth between you and whoever you're dealing with. But I also sensing more. It's a rebirth from within yourself, Cancer. There's a rebirth happening. There's this newness that's coming. This new passion that you're finding in life. And like I said, I feel like a wish is coming true. Something you've always dreamed of is going to come true. And you had to, you found, you could have found out about this in the past and you're really taking the steps to get there. You're leaving. And it, honestly, guys, if you're not leaving anything behind, like you're not moving somewhere, maybe you're leaving people behind. Maybe you're choosing, choosing to leave people that don't resonate with you behind so you can focus on this one person or really focus on your relationship and building this passion for this person. But I do see whoever you met and whatever happened, it was fated. It, like it was meant to happen. Everything happened for a reason. And it, you're kind of in awe. It leaves you feeling a bit in awe. You might not live close to this person also, guys. You could live at a distance from them. And that's why you need to move there. I'm also sensing for some, you could have had a dream. You could be dreaming about this person. You're dreaming about this opportunity that you have. But it's... It's very, um, I feel a lot of independence and fierceness, like you're finding independence, like especially if you're moving out, like you're, it's like you're, fi it's like you're starting a whole new life and you've, in the past you felt stuck, maybe you felt stuck to a person, maybe you felt like you had to stay with somebody and now you're starting to realize you don't need to anymore and you can just be free or you can be with this person that you really truly want to be with. But yeah, Cancers, that's all I have for you guys for this reading. If you want to um, continue reading on to Vimeo, I'll put the link below. So I'll see you guys there.
Bye.